Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a dog bow tie, a DIY dog bow tie. Uh, you're gonna to need to start with two pieces of fabric. Our home team here in Maine is the New England Patriots. So that's, uh, these are actually some scraps of fabric left over from another project that I was working on. So the first piece of fabric you're gonna to wanna to cut, um, and I'm using a fleece material. Uh, flannel felt works really well. Um, you can use whatever material, whatever pattern that you want. Uh, what you need to remember is that this large piece is going to be double the size of the bow tie that you want. So think about the length and the width of the bow tie that you want and then double that for the size of this piece of fabric. So um, my fabric here is about 10 inches long by three inches wide and uh, that's gonna make my bow tie about five inches long by about an inch and a half wide. And then you want a piece that is the same length, but it's only about a third of the width. So um, this is 10 inches long again, but it's only one inch wide. I'm going to start with my larger piece and what you want to do, um, I have a ruler here and I'm going to find the center of my piece, which would be uh, five inches. So that would be right here. I'm gonna fold each piece into the center. Because it is a no-sew bow tie, I'm going to use hot glue. So I'm gonna just put a little line of hot glue here. I'm running out of glue. So I'm gonna stick another stick in there and I'm going to fold this over and just press it together and let it dry. Then I'm gonna flip it over and with the good side facing up, I'm going to put a good size dot of hot glue right in the center. And now I'm going to fold it in in the middle and just pinch it until it dries. My glue in the center is feeling pretty dry, so I'm going to just turn it. Um, I have it folded in half. I'm just gonna turn it to the back side on this half. Put a little dot of glue here. And then just fold this side back. Pinch it again. Let that dry. And then on the other side, I'm going to do the same thing. It's a dot of glue here in the center and fold it back. I'm actually, my uh, fleece is pretty thick, so these outside pieces aren't uh, sticking, so I'm just gonna add a little more glue. If you see any area on yours that isn't, that one's kind of sticking, but uh, not very well. So if you feel like it's not secure in any places, add a little more glue. No problem there. And now um, you can see it kind of starting to sh take the shape of a bow tie. Now that your bow is, or the bow part is done, you can stick your fingers in, open up each side to make it look a little bit nicer. And you can check to make sure that all the pieces are properly stuck together. And then we're gonna use that uh, other little piece of fabric that you had cut your one inch or mine is a one inch section. And what I'm gonna do here is just put a little line of glue down this side. Oops. And then I'm going to fold this edge over. And if you haven't guessed, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other end, or the other edge, I should say, not the other end. I'm a very messy hot gluer. I'm just gonna stick these down anywhere that needs a little more glue. Then I just wanna go ahead and do the same thing on the other edge. Now we have the strip, both edges are folded into the middle and glued down. And if you haven't guessed, this is going to be the uh, center to go around your bow. So on the back side of the bow, 
you want to put a good size dollop of hot glue. Stick that on there. Wrap it around. And you want to wrap it tightly because you don't want any leftover bunching up. So we're going to wrap it tightly and then just glue it on the back side. You may be wondering why there is so much extra left over here. That's going to be the part that wraps around and goes on your dog's collar. So now you can see we've got the cute little bow tie. And what you're going to want to do now is just stick some Velcro on the back side here and some Velcro on this end here. And then you'll be able to Velcro it right around your pet's collar. Our Labrador Sadie, uh, her collar's right here. So you can see that I put my Velcro on. And now all I'm going to do is just loop the longer piece through the collar, wrap it around, Velcro it, and then just adjust it. Um, and there's Sadie's homemade bow tie. If you guys have any questions about how to make your dog a bow tie, uh, you can feel free to email me, samantha at topdogtips.com. Thanks for watching this how-to guide.